Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform repairs safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. As a two-cycle engine increases speed from idle to run, the clutch engages the drive components to rotate the chain on a chainsaw or the trimmer head on a string trimmer. A two-cycle engine clutch is also used on edgers, hedge trimmers, and some tillers as well. Over time, the clutch assembly can wear out, causing a chainsaw to have trouble cutting or preventing a string trimmer head from spinning. Clutch assemblies are usually unique to each product type and will often vary depending on the model. You should enter the full model number of your equipment in our website search bar to find the specific clutch or clutch component you need. Before you attempt to replace a clutch, you should confirm that the equipment's engine has cooled. Next, remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Depending on the product and model, you will probably need to disassemble the handle or throttle assembly and remove the entire engine or gear case housing to access the clutch. On chainsaws, you will usually have to remove the chain and chain bar as well. You may have to remove a washer, clutch drum, and bearing to reach the clutch itself. Use a socket or a spark plug wrench to help unthread the spark plug. Confirm that the engine piston is in the down position, then insert a cord into the cylinder to prevent the piston from moving. This will secure the motor shaft to make it easier to remove the clutch. Some clutches are secured with a mounting nut that will need to be unthreaded in order to remove the old clutch. Other clutches will need to be unthreaded directly from the motor shaft. For some clutches, a dedicated clutch removal tool can be used to loosen the component. If applicable, Confirm that the washer is in place before or after you position the new clutch on the motor shaft. Thread the new clutch and tighten. Or secure it with the mounting nut as required. With the new clutch installed, remove the cord from the cylinder and re-thread the spark plug. Be careful not to strip the threads by over-tightening. If necessary, replace the bearing, clutch drum, and any washers, then secure. If required for your chainsaw, reinstall the chain bar and chain. Reinstall the engine or gear case housing, and reassemble the handle or throttle assembly as necessary. With the product fully reassembled, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug, and your lawn and garden equipment should be ready for use.